What's up guys, what's going on? So it's no secret that halogen bulbs are not great. They don't look great, they don't perform great. So what's the solution? Well, quite possibly these bulbs, LED bulbs. So let me just cast you back a little bit. I'm 33 years old now, probably when I was 18 years old, the go-to headlight upgrade was HID, high intensity discharge. That's what everybody had, that was the go-to. But just in recent years, HID headlights just seem to have just fizzled into nothing. You don't see any of them anymore. I work on cars every single day of my life and I don't see any cars with HID headlights anymore. I feel like LEDs have took over the scene or a lot of cars have moved on and come with factory by xenon lights. Unfortunately, my transit van behind me does not have by xenon lights. It has hol horrible halogen headlights. Now, I don't know if the company that sent me these bulbs, I don't know if they saw me ranting in one of my other videos or if they just wanted to just send them to me anyway, but this company, Auxito, they messaged me and they said, Nathan, we want to send you some of our bulbs and we want nothing from you, but we want you to review them and give you an honest review. So I said, sure, send me some, let me check them out. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to fit these bulbs in my transit and we're going to see if they're for the win or for the bin. I can't believe I just got that in first try. That were amazing. <laughs> but don't worry, the bulbs are not in there. That's just the empty box. The bulbs are over there, nice and safe and sound, I promise you. So with the van outside, these are the standard bulbs, the factory bulbs, and here we are looking at the beam image on my roller shutter door. Now you can see a few important parts that I'll point out to you. So the beam image is a really important part of the headlight system. If the beam image is jacked up, you will fail an MOT. So you'll notice on both sides, we've got this flat line and then this little kick up. Same on this one, look, flat line, little kick up. Now that's very important, that is an MOT that is something that is measured on the MOT. They do, with an headlight aligner, they will make sure that your headlights are the right height, which as you can see, both of mine are relatively the same. Whether or not they're the right height or not, I don't know. But in terms of being about the same, they are. The kick up is about the same. The kick up also needs to be in the right spot. It's difficult for me to explain any more than that to you. But what we're gonna be doing on our bulbs is we're gonna be making sure that our new bulbs still retain this beam image. Make sure we've still got that beam image perfect. Because if we haven't, they're not going to be road legal. You're going to have people flashing you. So let's get it back inside. So let's have a little look at these bulbs then. Now it's difficult to see on camera. They look, I'm not going to lie, they look pretty amazing on camera, but they are yellow looking. They are awful looking. They look terrible. Hopefully when we do a put them side by side comparison, it will be night and day to see the difference. They've gone off now, but let's also talk about headlight types like I just mentioned a second ago. So headlight types, you've got projector headlights like these and you've got halogen which are non-projector headlights now a lot of cars do come with projector headlights like this but they are generally fitted with uh, by xenon lights so by xenon lights are effectively what a hid kit was so like i said all them years ago when i was young and we all used to be in the car scene we used to go to meets and stuff every single person had hid headlights and i'm sure a lot of you agree if you're about my age that used to be the first mod, your Corsa B's, your Corsa C's, even your Corsa D's when they were still relatively new. All those, our first mod, it was Fit HID headlights. But, like I say, Bison and headlights have sort of phased them out now. A lot of new cars have moved on, a lot of cars are more affordable. A lot of young lads now get Mark 7 Golfs, which most of the time have Bison and headlights. Anyway, I'm rambling on. The difference between a projector headlight and a halogen light is that a projector headlight has this magnifying glass. So the magnifying glass is designed to sort of intensify the headlight and it also gives you a very nice beam image on the road. This is gonna work amazing with the LED bulbs. The LED bulbs are really gonna complement this projector setup. I've got a feeling they will be amazing. Now, I have got a customer's car here, which happens to be a Mark IV Golf. Had one of these when I was younger, 18, 19 year old. I had a Mark IV Golf. And yes, I put HID headlights in it. <clears throat> this customer's one on the other end is not in great shape. It has got a stone hole in it, but to, for, the, for demonstration purposes, this is a non-projector non headlight. So you can see the bulb and the bulb reflects off of the back portion of the light lens and reflects out. Now, in the day when we used to put HID bulbs in these, yes, we was guilty of blinding everybody on the road because it sort of reflects off all the chrome parts in the light and it just gives you a scattered beam image not like not nice one like I've just shown you. So outside you can see the very nice flat line with the kick up. You put HID headlights in this, you don't get that. It just becomes a scattered blob and you blind everybody on the road. Did we care back then? No, we didn't. We just wanted our cars to look nice. 
but I am a bit older now. I am a bit more um, sensible, maybe is the right word. Maybe I'm more sensible now. Um, I don't know if putting LED bulbs in a headlight style like this would cause problems. Not sure. Unfortunately, I don't have a vehicle to test it in because the, all the vehicles I've got, I've either got Bison on headlights or are old. So my daily driver, my Tiguan, what my missus drives, that has got Bison ons. My camper's got Bison ons. I do have the old Volvo, but that's a rickety old thing. It's got a solid engine mount, so all the headlights bounce. Not ideal for doing a, a relative test on. This is great. The Transit's completely standard. It's good for me to, good for me to give you guys a completely honest review on it. I do have the old Escort, which if any of you have collared it in the background and more are interested in that, I am putting a Volkswagen engine in a Ford Escort. There's a whole build series on that. If you're interested in it, go to my other videos, check it out. Okay, so we've had a little look at the factory bulbs. It's difficult for me to show you on camera. They actually look great on camera, but I can promise you they're really yellow looking. The light output at nighttime is not great, but let's have a look in the box what we get with the Auxito one. So when I did my little bin trick, the bulbs wasn't in here before you all start crying in the comments. I did take the bulbs out. It was just a little trick shot and I couldn't believe I got it first go. But anyway, so what do you get in the box? The box comes like this. On the box, it is an operating voltage of 12 volts to 16 volts, IP rating of IP67, so they are waterproof. Light source is LED, color temperature is 6,500K. Operating temperature, blah, we're not interested in that. Operating life is 50,000 hours. So 50,000 hours, it's not that much, is it? But it is when you think about it. 50,000 hours is pretty good for a bulb. Considering that halogen bulbs do blow all the time, I'd probably say they're about 50,000 hours to be fair. So 50,000 hours is, is pretty decent. What do you get in the box then? Oh, it also claims that they are 400 times brighter than factory bulbs. Now that is a bold claim, 400 is 400 times brighter, so what, four times brighter than factory bulbs, that is quite a claim. So we are gonna test that back to back and we'll have a look. Now apparently they are plug and play, they are also error free, so I'm told. So again, that is something we're gonna test. We're gonna see if they are actually error free. In the box then, what do we get? Not a lot, couple of bulbs, not really need anything else. First impressions, let's have a look at one of them. Pull one out. The bulb feels quality. It feels heavy. It doesn't feel lightweight. It feels like it's good quality. It's all aluminium, that the entire housing is aluminium. So all the, the bulb surround is all aluminium. We've got the two pin H7 fitment, because that's what we require for this. So I don't recommend getting your grotty fingers all over the actual light lens. I think you're, you're good to touch it anywhere else. So very similar to a halogen bulb. You don't really want to put your fingers on the glass because it, I don't know if it's an old wife's tale, but I think it, apparently it's supposed to make the bulb last shorter. Whether it does or not, I've never actually put my fingers all over one and tested it. Maybe it does. Anyway, that's what you get in the box. We've had a look at the standard headlights. We're happy with that. I think next thing to do is let's get the headlights out of this van and let's see if these bulbs are worth the money. Let's get them out and let's see. Now, luckily for me, I know that Ford Transit headlight bulbs are a doddle to fit. Now, this might not be so easy on every car, but I know on Transit, they are really, really easy to fit. So let me show you how it is. The only tool we need is a flat blade screwdriver. Now that might seem hard to believe, but it is. First things first then, let's pop the bonnet. Now there is a screw there and there's a screw here. And then the headlight just falls out in your hands, which is gonna be difficult to believe for a lot of you, but it is. That's one screw out. Second one's just up here. We'll take that screw out and watch this. Lift the light up and wow, straight out, as easy as that. Now, you don't have to unplug the light, but just for filming purposes, I am going to, just to give you guys a better look at what we're doing. <sighs> How long did that take me? Can't have been longer than 30 seconds. One good thing about owning a Ford Transit is the headlights come out super duper easy which is not the same on a lot of models. Let's have a little look then. So the bulb is in this portion. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna pull off the dust cap. Let me bring you guys a little bit closer. See if I can get you in on the action. See if you can see what's actually happening. Maybe zoom you in a little bit as well. There we go, look. You've got a decent view of that. 
that's a decent view. So there is one plug, pull the plug off, simple as that. Then there's a retaining clip, which hooks on. It's pretty self-explanatory when you've got it in front of you to see how that works. Push it to one side. There is, there is our halogen bulb. A Little bit hot, I won't lie. So don't touch the glass on a halogen bulb, especially when it's just been running for 10 minutes because that thing is hot, hot, hot. But if you was putting a new halogen bulb in and you put mucky fingerprints on, it's supposed to make the bulb not last as long. I don't know if that's an old wife's tale. So we don't want that. We'll put that on there. We don't want that. Let's get our new Bobby Dazzler and it's gonna be a really, really simple job. I'm gonna pop that one on there. You have got this flat spot here, which is a locator. That locator goes in between there. Drop that in there. Put our retaining clip back on. Just like that. And we're ready to go. Now, I think LED bulbs only work with the power wrong, one way around. Now, that could go either way. So it may or may not be on the wrong way. Easiest way is let's try it. Hooray! That works. Now immediately you can already see the difference. So hopefully now you can really tell the difference. That one is really yellow. And that one is really, really white. That looks a ton better already. I do actually, I've just noticed I do actually have a side light bulb out as well. This bulb here is a, oh. <laughs> You couldn't write it, could you? Literally like the magic touch, like Harry Potter. Popped it back on. Maybe it's just a poor connection or maybe the filament's about to die in that one. But look at that, big, big difference. One's really white, one's really bright, one's yellow and dull. So immediately I'm thinking these probably are gonna make a pretty good difference. But let's get that screwed back in and let's move on. Let's get this side and I'm excited to see if they make a difference outside. And just like that, we have LED bulbs in my Ford Transit. Let's get them both on together and let's have a look. Oh, look at them. How much better do they look? Oh, my side light's gone out again. Just give it a little. <laughs> and it's back working again. That side light bulb's knackered in it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that in a second. But look at them guys, just look. How much better do they look? In fact, they look so nice and bright and white that it actually makes the side light bulbs look horrendous. So I think rather than replace that other side one, I'm just gonna order some LED side light bulbs because they look amazing and it's making the side light bulbs look yellow. Hopefully you can really tell the difference on the camera now just how much whiter the headlight bulbs are to the old yellow side lights. They look amazing. Right, let's get it back outside. Let's see if we have a beam image and let's see if they look 400 times brighter than the original ones. I do have my doubts, but let's see for ourselves. Well, first and foremost, we do not have any errors on the dashboard whatsoever. The headlights are on and I've got no warning errors. So that's a great start. So the beam image is not as good as the original ones. It's not as crisp. So on the original ones, it was a little bit crisper where the kickups are. Same with this side. I'd say it's not as crisp, but the beam image is still there, so I think they'll be fine. You can see here we've got like a bit of reflection, which may be down toward to the light's been a lot brighter than the original ones. But all in all, have we got a beam image still? Yes, we have. Let's have a look at how bright they look. So would I say they are 400 times brighter? I wouldn't say they are four times brighter, but are they brighter? Yes, there's no doubt about it. They are definitely brighter. Now with the Escort up there. Again, we can't really see much more than it, but again, I think that's probably down to the headlight level is not any higher than the original ones. But in terms of brightness, are they clearer? Definitely, yes. The road looks clearer ahead of me, that's for sure. We are gonna put them both side by side and we'll have a look at them together, but they definitely look clearer to me. So are they brighter? Absolutely, yes, they are brighter. So guys, what's the verdict? Do I rate these bulbs? Now I promised always to give you an honest review, no matter whether it's bulbs or whether I'm reviewing 
um, rear exhaust diffusers, which we fit a lot of in our videos. I always, always promise to give you guys an honest review. Now, do I think they are 400% brighter? I don't think they're that good. They are good, but 400% was always a bold claim. I haven't drove the van home yet. Maybe when I drive home on the way home, maybe I'll be absolutely astonished, but just on a back-to-back -back test outside in the same conditions on the same night, in the same place, do they look, do they look brighter? Yes. Are they a better color? Yes. And do they look better in the van? Absolutely yes, they look so much better. So if, if this is in your car, which is your pride and joy, those bulbs are 100% upgrade over the standard look, even if they are just a better color. They just look better, they just look, make the car, well, we're, we're testing them on my van. But if this, this was on your nice car, they just make the car look instantly newer and a lot more expensive than it probably actually is. So do I rate these bulbs? It's an absolute thumbs up from me, guys. They are fantastic bulbs. Not only that, these guys do a lot of other stuff on their website as well. Now, I am gonna offer you guys the discount code. I'm gonna put the link in the description to get these bulbs, and the discount code is NAWFABS. That will get you 15% off everything on Oxito's website everything they do all sorts not just bulbs i actually had some power steering pipes for that the other week from oxito the power steering pipes blue common thing on a transit i actually got some power steering pipes for a transit from these guys they fit amazing completely leak free absolutely amazing go check out the website guys they do all sorts little jump starters all sorts of stuff use my discount code nawfabs will get you 15 percent off anything on their website also, just to end this video, I'd like to apologize to Oxito themselves that I've took so long to review these bulbs. I'll be honest, I've been so busy with other stuff. I've been so busy with all your guys' cars since I've only started YouTube sort of like six or seven months ago. I am still relatively new to YouTube and I've just been absolutely stacked to the rafters with all your cars, doing exhaust on all your cars. I appreciate every single one of you guys. There's a few people in the comments that I notice are regulars on my videos, constantly commenting. Honestly, I love you guys. Thank you so much. I, could, I, appreciate, I can't do it without you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. Even the ones that give me a little constructive criticism saying what to do better in my videos. Guys, I appreciate that. I promise you, I would much rather have constructive criticism. Tell me what you'd like me to stop doing, what you'd like me to do more of, what you want to see more of. That's amazing. Keep that feedback up and I'll try and do what, more of what you guys want to see. Check out my Instagram. Put my handle down here, at NAW Automotive for a whole host of car content. You might just see something you like. Thanks for watching guys, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.